Hello, hello, lovelies! I wanted to make a really fun video today of my vintage toy collection. I got a lot of requests on Instagram to do a general overview of the collection. Um, I also wanted to do a really quick intro of myself. I only have one other YouTube video up so far, and you don't see me in it. So my name is M. Um, you can also call me Sarah. That is my actual name, but I go by M here on the internet in the toy community. M mm -hmm. comes from my middle name, Emily, and my phone so rudely vibrated. <laughs> if you could hear that, I don't even know. For anyone that wants to know, I am 26. I turned 27 in less than two weeks, which is crazy. The time has gone by ridiculously fast this year. Every year goes by faster, but I primarily collect vintage 80s and 90s toys, mostly really colorful and pastel toys. I do have some other random toys mixed in there as well. Some of them are from my childhood, and then some of them I have purchased more recently. Actually, most of them I've purchased, so I primarily find this stuff through thrifting or purchasing online through other people I know in the toy community. There is a huge toy community on Instagram. Uh, so I collect a ton of really fun toys from the 80s and 90s. I do have some newer toys as well and other stuff that doesn't really fit that bill, but it's all primarily 80s and 90s. And um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cut over to the collection because it's a lot to cover. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the first shelf on my bookcase. I wanted to do a really big overview shot of the bookcase, but this room's kind of a mess right now, so I couldn't really get it all in the frame. But that's okay. But let's go ahead and get started with what's on this first shelf. So, so let's start with my Sanrio Tuxedo Sam plush. He's super duper cute. He's got these little sleepy eyes and he's got a matching hat which looks like this. He's got a little puff ball on the top and then he's got a matching pillow with stars on it. Really, really cute. And then next we have this really adorable cat plush. Let me move the nosy bear. So this is actually a Soviet era plush. That is not the reason why I purchased this. I just thought it was so cute. I have an obsession with cats. I have two cats of my own. So I'm just drawn to cat stuff. So I found this on eBay and I just thought it was adorable. You can actually turn his head. Um, so you can turn it so that he's facing forward too. Or you can have it, you know, face sideways like I had it before. I had it sideways so he sat better on the shelf because he's really big and bulky. So I'll put him back there. And then we have a Wuzzles plush here. Oops, Skeletor fell. So this is Koala Keat and then Hopopotamus is next to him. So, Wuzzles were a really fun, imaginative 80s toy line. Each one is a combination between a couple different animals. So, this one is a combo between a parakeet and a koala. It's got the parakeet beak, but then it's got like the fluffy koala ears. And it's just so cute. And they all have wings. This one has little blue wings. And then this one's Hopopotamus. Oh my gosh, he doesn't want to stand up. So that one's Hopopotamus. He is a combination between a hippo and a rabbit. And then he has like little angel wings back here that you can kind of see. So that's really cute. I do want to say that the Wuzzles plushies are extremely well made and have held up really, really well over the years. Whatever fur they used for these obviously not real fur, but whatever kind of plush fur they used for these is really good quality because it hasn't like matted down or bunched together like you often see with vintage plush. 
But anyways, next we have my nosy bear. And this one is like a mint green and a pastel pink. And it has this um, really fun dolphin nose. I don't know if you can really see that. It's really dark. I'm sorry. But you squeeze it and its nose moves. Can you even see that? Hello. <laughs> so yeah, you squeeze it and the little dolphins spin around. So you kind of got the idea. So that's the nosy bear. And then next I have my good luck care bear who's originally sitting here. And this is from my childhood. This was a hand-me-down and it just means a lot to me. I have it in the official Care Bear where it's like these really cute little overalls and a little matching hat. And then lastly on this shelf we have Skeletor. Skeletor is my favorite villain ever and also my favorite He-Man character. He's just so funny. Oh my gosh, my little popple tail keeps moving back and forth. You can kind of see that in the frame. But Skeletor is just my favorite. I don't know why. I just love Skeletor. He's so ridiculous. And I think that's why I love him so much. So let's move on to the second shelf. So this is the second shelf here. I'm going to try and not pull everything off this shelf because it's just really difficult. But we can start over here with my Turtle Tot plush. This is a really fun little 80s toy line that I think is super underrated. Back here is my Pancake Popple. She does have a custom made ear. When she came to me her ear was ripped off so I had to give her a new one. And then we have my glow worm, and she still glows, which is amazing. Next is my parrot popple. This one's really rare and hard to find because it is one that was only released in Europe. And I named it Punchy, kind of like Fruit Punch, because it's just got all those fun colors, and it's super cute. Next we have my DreamWorks Cuddle Brights plush. The fiber optic hair lights don't work as nicely as they used to, so I'm not going to turn it on because you probably won't even see it, but I love this darling little face. I love the little tongue that sticks out and the heart nose, and then the eye paint is super pretty, and how can you not love tinsel hair? Like, it's just so dreamy, and then the confetti ribbons are everything. And then we have Mew. I got this more recently, but this is just a really cute Mew Pokemon plush. And then we have a Pretty Bit Popple. I'm sorry you see all my computer wires over there. Not that aesthetically pleasing, but, you know, this room's more functional than it is cute at the moment. And then back here we have my fluffy dog, and I love her pom-pom nose. And then those cute darling little eyes with the stars in them. Like, how cute is that? So now we're going to move on to the third shelf here. I really don't like this bookshelf, but got to do what you got to do. I'll eventually replace it. So starting here, we have my Yum Yum's Sugar Cookie Bear. Unfortunately, it's no longer scented, but it's so perfect for this time of year for the upcoming holiday season. I love the little tongue. How cute is that? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me fix that. There we go. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. You can't even see the secret keepings, pup. I think I'm going to have to take the bear off the shelf. Before I take these other ones off, let me show them to you. I have this really cute nylon birdie plush. I had one of these when I was a kid. It's an off-brand. It's not like Puffalumps or anything. I'm pretty sure it came from the dollar store. This is not the original one I had. So finding a replacement was really difficult, but I finally found one on eBay after many years of trying to find one. It makes little birdie sounds. I don't know if you can hear, you'll be able to hear it. 
maybe if I put it by the microphone. But my cats go crazy over this thing. So hopefully they don't come running in here. <laughs> so let me set that down. And then this is a handmade plush. And it's a bear. And it's got a little unicorn horn. I named it Miss Sassy Corn. And then this is my secret keepings puppy. I absolutely love the iridescent shiny pink nose and then the tummy unfortunately I don't have the key or charm that originally went to this but you can still open that lock with like a pair of scissors or like a small knife or something you just got to be careful and then we have kitty bright kitty bright is going for ridiculous amounts of money online right now you guys it is absurd I've seen them for over a hundred dollars what the heck I got mine for a really good price. It does have a couple issues, but I'm okay with them. The iridescent ear fabric is cracked. I don't know how well you can see that. And then she's got some like pink highlighter on her eyes that some kid must have put on there. I tried everything I could think of to get it off, and I don't want to completely ruin the eye paint. So I've just decided to leave it. It's really not that bad. And then next we have my very soft doll from Play School. Sorry. There we go. And I've had her since I was born. I'm not really a doll person, but she's obviously special to me because she's from my childhood. And she makes really weird noises, though. <laughs> like, I don't get that, but whatever. She is soft. She does have a lot of, like weird fuzzies all over her unfortunately but otherwise she's in really good shape I'm quite surprised since she was a baby toy I have another handmade plush here that's a really fluffy kitty so of course I named her Miss Fluffs that's Fluffs with a Z and oh my gosh she's like completely bedazzled look at that iridescent pink bow it's so beautiful and then she's got a heart choker, a bracelet, a tutu, and then she even has a bow on the back there. And she is seriously the softest thing ever. I'm obsessed. And then I have these two handmade plushies that I got from someone in Japan. And this one's a sleepy bear, or actually it's technically a hamster. If I remember correctly. And she's got a little star hat. I post a lot of pictures of these on Instagram. So if you ever want to know like who makes these. You can find all that information on my Instagram. And then I also have a bunny one. And it's got a little star rod. That's like a flower. And it's so cute. Look, you can see my computer screen where I'm filming. Oh my gosh. That's really funny. And then I have this little bobbly penguin dude that I think my mom got for me for Christmas one year. So I have him out for Christmas. And now we're going to move on to the next shelf. Alrighty, friends. So this shelf's really special because it's got my PJ Sparkle Sparklings pets. I do have all five of the variations that exist. These, I think, were originally produced around 1989 and were produced for a couple of years before they were retired by Mattel. Um, if you're not familiar with Mattel as a toy company, they're the same company that makes Barbie dolls. That's probably what they're most known for. Unfortunately, I only have one necklace for these. But it's so cute. This one's the puppy. I think my favorite, if I had to pick one... Which is really hard, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be the bear because that's the first one I was after and had to have. And I originally wasn't planning on getting all five. I would have been happy with just one. And this is the one that I chose to look for and the first one I ever got. And I won her through an intense bidding war on eBay, so I feel really uh, lucky to have her. But I do have all three of the bunnies as well. And they're super cute. I love their tinsel hair. 
but I'm not going to spend any more time on these because I have a whole other YouTube video all about these. Then we have my sparkly dino. This was given to me by a friend on Instagram, and I think it's supposed to be a triceratops, but it's just got that vintage feel to it. I love the eye paint, and it's got really, really, really sparkly fur. Like, it's got tinsel pieces all throughout it, which makes it really rough to try and cuddle. Like, it's itchy and rough, but I still cuddle it anyway because it's just too cute. I love cute dinosaurs. And then I also have a little itty-bitty Kermit plush from Hallmark. And I just love the Muppets, especially Muppet Babies. That was, like, my childhood favorite so behind all those plushies is my brush loves and I don't know why she's all the way in the back. She definitely needs a better spot on this shelf. I wish you could see all of them in plain sight, but some of them just get kind of hidden until I can get more bookcases and bookshelves and have a better display going on. This is just the way it's got to be. But this is Bubble Love. She is so beautiful. If you don't own a brush of loves, you totally need one. They are well worth the hefty price that you would usually have to pay to get one online. Or if you're lucky and you find one thrifting, even better. But I love her rainbow fabric. And then I put a little bow in her hair because she did not come with her original bow. And she's just got such a darling little face. And then one of her paws is a mirror, which you can't really see right now. And the other one's like a little makeup puff. And then the tails for these are um, these long brush tails. So you can brush your little hair. I think that's so fun. And then lastly on this shelf is my Happiness Secret of the Lock plush. These are really hard to find and can go for a lot of money because they're pretty yeah, rare. <laughs> These are pretty rare. They were only produced for one year. Not very long at all. And I'm not sure for how long specifically it was being sold in stores. So let's get a better look of the side because I'm pretty much obsessed with the scales on this beauty. Like, it's got these iridescent pink scales all up and down its back and its tail. And then you have a star on the end. And it's super shiny and pink and really pretty. And she's got really pretty blue and purple hair. And then I just put this fun hair clip in. It's just a kitty hair clip. I just thought it was fun. And then, of course, she has this beautiful necklace. And now we're going to move on to the very top shelf. This is my top shelf up here. Um, over to the left is my Precious Places Magic Key Mansion from Fisher Price. That was like something I really wanted as a child and was able to get as an adult. So that's really special. And then I have a couple My Little Ponies. This one is the Birthday Pony. And I love her all over cutie mark. She is absolutely stunning. Like she is amazing. And then I'll move her out of the way. And then we also have Cha Cha the Llama. I love llamas. So I'm pretty much obsessed. And knew I had to have her. I definitely splurged on her. But she was absolutely worth it. And then I have a Rudolph plush. And this is made by Applause. I'm thinking this is early 90s. This plush actually belongs to my fiancé. It's from his childhood. Unfortunately, the Rudolph little nose does not light up anymore. But this is a really special plush to him. So I'm glad that he kept it. And then we have a pillow person. And this one is Santa. And he's so cute. He's got a, like a fluffy mustache. And he's got satin mittens and booties. And he's got little rosy cheeks. So he's just really fun. He does have a hat. You just can't really see it because it's behind him. So now we're going to move on to the other part of my display. So let's head over there. All right. So this is this kind of old desk that I have chilling next to my current desk. Kind of makes an L shape, but this is my um, 
little cubby display, I like to call it. It's not the prettiest. I use it a lot for pictures for Instagram. I'm not going to go through every little thing because there's just so many teeny tiny things here. Um, most of it, I will note, is vintage Polly Pocket. Like, I have a bunch of compacts over there and a bunch of other sets kind of throughout. I even have a Polly Pocket doll. I'm super into collecting vintage Polly Pocket right now, so I do have a ton of that. Um, I also have a Star Castle over here. This is the same one I used to have as a kid. I just repurchased that. That's one of my more recent purchases. Um, I have a little Santa out for Christmas. Behind that is my Barbie caboodle. I'm going to do a whole video about Polly Pocket, and I'll probably do more individual videos about specific toy lines. So you're going to see all of this stuff just in separate, more detailed videos. So that's pretty much this little display here. And then up above it, I have these cabinets. There's some Christmas decorations hanging off of them. I have a bunch of like overflow stuff in there. I have some extra Polly Pockets that are chilling in there and a bunch of other stuff. I'll try to just give you a little overview real quick, but I'm not going to go into detail with that stuff. Alright, so this is my little cabinet storage at the moment. I at least tried to make it look cute, even though you don't really see it because the cabinets are normally closed. But sometimes I grab stuff out of here to take pictures of them. So everything in here gets loved too, even though it's hidden behind doors at the moment. Eventually I'm going to get more bookcases and all of this stuff will be out on display. But I have a lot of really random stuff in here. Some of it doesn't tie in as much with the other collection items. Like up here there's some more action figure type stuff. There's also a baby Luigi plush. A really, really, really vintage dog plush that I rescued from an antique shop and I named him Mr. Pupple. Half his fur is missing. He's extremely old. But I just thought he was so cute and I just couldn't bear to leave him behind. I kept picturing him just ending up in the trash because no one would want him. And that made me really sad. So I got him. There's also a few My Little Ponies. Like I said, extra Polly Pockets. That sort of stuff. So you'll see this stuff if you follow me on Instagram in photos. And you'll also probably see a lot of this stuff in future videos. So that's going to be it for the collection today. I hope that you enjoyed checking everything out with me. I had a lot of fun sharing it with you. And I hope to see you soon.